Welcome back. Pursuit here. Planks from Seven Days to Die. And last time I went through some basic starter stuff. We could not get into the city because there was too many zombies around us. Um, right now we are undetected. Um, I hope I showed enough of what was going on to begin with, but there's so much to figure out here when you're first starting that it seemed like I just kept on tripping over what there was to do here. I'm currently undetected, and I'm hoping to get back to the city. And if you're wondering where is that little uh, township, I guess you might call it, you can look at your map by hitting the M button. And there we go. It's kind of over to the side here. So I was going to head in the wrong direction, but obviously the map will show me that I need to head more in this kind of direction. Um, so let's kind of head in that direction. Before we go in, though, because we're likely to get beat up, Let's see if we can't, don't have enough cotton here that we can make some more clothing. Uh, so, these are cotton plants I've been picking, and I should have quite a few of them now. Let's hope nobody spots me over here. I hope everybody loses track of me. So what we can do, we've got 21 cotton. Now you can turn cotton into cloth fragments. Um, and you can find that over in the menus here, but I already know the recipe, so I don't need to do that. And so clothing, it shows you the clothing you can build. Now you can get other recipes for better, like leather, you can do leather later and iron stuff. Um, there's lots of recipes you don't have here yet that you have to find skill bucks for. That's part of the game. Um, part of the reason I'm recommending going to a township first, you can start finding those books. But if we want to, so I already have some gloves. We found that earlier. Um, I have cloth gloves, which I could make cloth gloves, but why bother? I have some now. We might be able to find some in the town also, but I'm feeling rather naked. So let's see if we can't at least craft something a little bit more than we have. Um, so let's go back to the crafting part, and let's see if we can make some head armor. We can make some chest armor. We could make some boots. Um, and we could make leg armor, but we don't have enough. So, you know, we're running around barefoot right now. Let's make some boots. So really easy. Just plop those three down. We got some boots now. We still have seven more pieces, so... Um... I don't really care for the head armor, so let's see if we can pick up some more before we get to the town. Let's go ahead and put on the boots. So at least I'm not running around barefoot anymore. I've got the boots on. I am still hidden, as you see from the little icon of the squashed eye. That means that you're hidden, undetected. So let's keep heading towards the area we want to go, and let's actually put a marker waypoint and I right clicked to get the option to set that and then clicked on it again to set the waypoint. So now if we leave, if you look down at the bottom of the map there's a little red flag there that points says it's kind of in a northeast direction. If we follow that we'll end up in the area. Uh, I also have been collecting because we need more. Let's just make as many of these as we can. Uh, and I know the recipe, so let's just kind of plop them in here. And I could probably use some more sticks. So let's just use the rest of this wood that we've got here to make some... we got one left, so let's turn this wood into some planks. Do a few more sticks, and... So that gives us, how many arrows does that give us? That gives us 19 arrows. Now, crossbow, crossbow bolts, I guess is what they call them. So we've got the marker on the map. We can kind of wander around a little. We could kill that pig, but um, meat stinks, so they'll notice you faster. So we're probably better off just to leave him alone. Uh, the leather might be good to collect, but we don't even have the book for making leather armor yet. So I'm just going to leave him alone. We're going to grab some stones around here as we go back, because I need some more arrows. And I'm trying to keep a low profile here, 
They don't notice me, but I think they're probably going to notice me. Ah, some eggs. That might be good for eating later if we run out of food. We can probably cook those up. Um, our food and our hunger bar are getting a little low there. I'm hoping to find some in the area up here, and I'm not really liking the whole idea of having to crouch, but I'm trying to prevent... You can run while you're crouch. It makes it go a little bit faster. Uh, it's not as fast as if you were standing, but is something. I'm hoping to make some pants here before we get in the town because I would like a little armor. It's only 10% protection, but 10% is better than, than none. So if we do get hit, we won't take as much damage and die because part of the whole uh, health bar there, the red bar there, besides just being your health, um, when you get damaged, you also, it also affects your wellness. And wellness is a matter of, if you get injured enough frequently, um, it will actually start, like, it'll decrease your maximum amount. Um, when I played previously, I got that down to like a quarter after getting killed three or four times. So it does affect your, your maximum, and it takes a while to get it back up. So you have to be careful about getting killed now. You used to have to not worry about too much about getting killed, but you do now. Uh, let's just turn all this into sticks uh, so we can make some more uh, where'd they go? There they are. It's 29, that's a decent amount. Um, what about the cotton? How much cotton do we have? That's not nearly enough. What's that give me? 11? Well that might be enough to make some pants. Let's see. Um, chest armor. Sure, we'll go with the chest armor. Not enough for pants yet, but we can make some chest armor. You can also make bandages with a couple of these, which is good for restoring your health. But this is going to be good for at least giving us a little more protection. Another, just drop it right on your character, another 10%. So at least we're still running around in our underwear, but we're doing a little bit better. We need several more. Let's just look how many we need for crafting leg armor. You need 12. We've only got three, which means I need to get 24 more pieces of cotton. Or if we're lucky, we can find some cloth. We get in here. We might have enough armor that we can prevent some damage. And I've been kind of silent getting in here. You can try and be quiet getting in, or you can try and kill everybody before you get there. I'm kind of under the opinion that trying to be silent is a good thing, but once they see you, you're kind of out of luck. Um, well, you can kill them after that, but it seems to just cause a lot of headache. So, we're using crossbow right now, so if we can kill them... Oh, I missed. If you can kill them without getting noticed, you can get a silent attack on them. And I'm... D this guy's terrible to try and shoot. I think it's more than just him that I'm trying to... keep from noticing, too. Okay, I've, everybody knows that I'm here now. So, like I said... We've kind of messed up our chances of a quiet attack here. So let's go down and get quiet again. I'm being hunted. Um, you can try and kill off the ones around here and hope that nobody else finds me. I do have more ammo than I had before. But I think they're kind of notifying everybody in the area that I'm around, so I'm not as likely to be able to prevent this from getting noticed. Ugh, just keeps on moving. Ah! Terrible timing, lady. Oh, I mean, great timing on your part. Not on mine, though. Okay, so apparently nobody else was actually paying attention to me. That's good. Oh, somebody just noticed me. Ah. Uh, so, I... Uh, you can either kill him or you can try and run, and I'm... I'm doing a terrible shot, job shooting these guys, so... Especially these guys that bob and weave.
There's three or four of them that I think have noticed me now. Okay, so that guy was the one that saw me. Good. Um, oh, shoot. Let's try and lose them over here. And we can try and kill the ones that haven't seen me yet. But I seem to just keep on... Every time I kill one, another one notices me, so... Let's see what my chances are of being able to escape them without them noticing me. Okay, bag, backpack. We love backpacks. Shotgun parts. That's nice. And it's hard. You know, the more you run, the more you're likely to run into these guys. So, I'm kind of feeding my own problem here. If I can kill these guys without them noticing me, and I don't know why they would notice me, but they apparently are. Um... I can kill her off without her noticing me. Sneak damage. Which is nice. Um, I want to loot the bodies, because I want extra stuff. Somebody's still following me. This will lose me after 30 seconds, but I'm not doing a very good job losing them. Got two people following me. Let's keep moving. Hopefully they haven't reacquired me and they'll forget about me soon. Kind of nice having this big rock face here. Maybe I won't run into anybody else in the meantime. Um, I wonder if I can kill him from here. Oh yeah, that was a good shot. This is going to be a luck shot if I hit him. <laughs> or just terrible. That was what that was. trying to anticipate his movement, but I'm bailing at it terribly. Right over his head. Okay, I'm undetected again. I wasted way too many shots on that guy. Let's see if the girl's still over here somewhere. Um... If you can clear out an area, hopefully they won't be able to find you, but I haven't showed that that to be a very effective for me. Uh, let's see if we can make some more arrows. Make some more of those. Like I said, I have my crafting timer turned off, so a little more effective than I would be otherwise. Now, this gas station would probably make a good location to try and make a base to start with. Uh, it's getting kind of late, but there's a ladder there that leads up on top of the building. So it may be a good place problem with a lot of these places is these doors are locked. Yep, see it's locked. We have to beat that door down to get in. Which I'm not a fan of. Uh, also you have to worry about when you open stuff up. If you hit the R button to get stuff faster, but they tend to notice that you're doing it too. I don't have room for these barrels. I don't have much use for them right now. Let's go up on top of the building and see if we can't kill some of these guys from down from above without them noticing me. Uh, let's take the ladder up here. Okay, we've got one person up here. Hopefully she doesn't notice me before I can kill her. Yes, sneak damage. Sneak kill you get twice as much damage. She fell off the building and I'm not going to go get her. I like the fact that I'm kind of anonymous up here. Now, if I were playing when the zombies could run, this would be a terrible... Uh, it's not really good location, but I would have to start barricading the stuff. But as I'm not too worried about it, 
Um, oh, beer. Stamina hydration. That's a new one. I haven't tried the beer yet. Stamina hydration. And it doesn't say what the effect chance is, but a plus to help with my hydration and my stamina. I need a drink anyways, right? Don't have a lot of water. Might as well drink some beer. A nice buzz. Oh, look at that. Let's have both of them clear out my inventory a little bit. Apparently I have the beer effect on me now. And that's something you have to pay attention to. The This thing right here. Stamina. Two every one second. So it actually is good for if you want to like run after drinking a beer. You have more energy. You can also look at them here. See what the effects are under the character menu. But let's just see what we can find up here on the roof. Probably need to eat something too. What do I have to eat? I have some more chili, which dehydrates, or I have soup, which also gives me hydration. 10 hydration. This will probably fill up my hydration the rest of the way. Let's see what it does. I think the bar goes at about 50 is what is full. So... That filled me up almost the rest of the way. I think there's like a little sliver there left, but not much. Okay, now... Here's the dangerous part. If you peer over the edge here, they're gonna see me. Um, but I also want to try and kill them, so maybe, if I'm lucky... They've all wandered away. And I can go in the building. Probably not. And you can kind of hear them out there. Like I said, nighttime, if this were a regular game, I would be barricading myself up here somewhere, trying to prevent. There's somebody beating up that gas station. Hopefully, they don't destroy anything I can use. I'm not seeing anybody around here. Probably because I've killed them. So I know there's somebody, I've heard somebody over here somewhere. Where are they? Sounds like they're a ways away though. So I may be actually okay to go in. The problem is I need to find a window to go in through. Because there is not, careful with these ladders. You have to push down on them and kind of face or else you'll fall to your damaging yourself. Now uh, let's see if there's a good window to go through. If there's not, I'll probably go back up on top of the building. Most of these guys cannot climb ladders. There are ones called the spider zombies. They can climb the ladders and you'll find out what those are pretty quickly. Uh, I want to go in through one of these windows but it's going to take a lot of beating on these to go in. And what I really should have done is put something up on top there to put all this stuff in. But I kind of wanted to check a look around here. Yeah, this door is locked too, so that's something new to the recent versions since 10 also is the doors are locked. Um, can't quite get through there. I wish I could. I think I already searched that vehicle earlier when I first came around. There's not any good ways in here. I'm assuming most of these buildings are going to be locked. I could try and beat through some of these windows. It might actually be a good option right there. So like I was saying with these cinder bricks, a couple things you can do. You can use these cinder bricks or you can also um, construction, where is it? You can make um... Somebody just saw me. I'm assuming it's that guy that just saw me, so let's kill him and see if that can fix it. And I'm gonna bother searching him. I'm gonna try and get in here, and we'll talk about that other stuff in a minute. Uh, so let's put 
couple of these up, like I was saying, if you put them... Oh, you have to stack them pro properly, though. Like, on top of each other. Yeah, actually, you used to stack them on the side of the building, but apparently they've changed that. Oh, and you get scrap iron from them now. Oh, no. Okay, the problem was I stuck it. It's not... You can stack them on the sides of the buildings. Like that. It's that it broke the thing that was holding it on there. So, we can try and bust through this window. And go in. And we just woke somebody up. That's just dandy. Let's see if we can't kill him before he causes us problems. Pick these up. That's the other good thing about these. You can pick them up after the fact. Take them with you. Okay, nobody knows that I'm in here right now. They can possibly detect me, and they could possibly see me through that window, but let's see what we got going in here. No food. You can hear the fridge running, so there's still power. Some potatoes and some cans. I'm going to pick up everything I can. Um, and hopefully take it up to the roof here, because it's not safe in here. I'm not going to take the nails right now because I don't have... You can get a nail gun, but I don't have inventory space right now. So I'm just going to check everything I can here. You can fill up water in the toilets, which I'm going to go ahead and... Um, did I use all my stones? I did use all my stones. I can't even make a campfire anymore. I'm going to go ahead and fill these up, though. You can fill them up in toilets, and you get bottled murky water. I still have a couple, so I'll probably be okay. I need to boil this water, though, before I can use it. Let's just pick those up. Um, you got lockers here you can possibly find stuff in. Hopefully nobody hears me messing around with this. Aha! I was actually kind of hoping for some kind of headgear. There we go, cowboy hat. That'll help me protect me, too. It's kind of like a... I guess a 10%. No, it's actually better. 20, 30. Cowboy hat's better than your typical cloth stuff. Oh shoot, that's what I was kind of afraid of. We need to get in here now. Hopefully nobody hears this. Nobody heard me bust in here. Now this is, might be where some good loot is. That's why I came over here. There is a... Oh, file cabinet. Sometimes you can find a safe in these places. Oh, bookshelf. No books? Wow. That's a jip. Um, beverage cooler. Oh, some more beer. A beverage cooler. That looks like a bookshelf. Oh, no. It's a beverage cooler. I've not seen the beverage coolers before, so... Anybody back here? No. Furniture is also good for stacking in front of doors. Um, I really didn't find much good in here, so I think I'm going to try and sneak around... Oh, I don't know. Has the time started speeding forward? Not really. We're probably just as good to stay in here as we are to try and get on the roof. Um, the problem is I'm not. I don't have anything else. Let's make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, well, safe under here. Anything? I'm really disappointed with that bookshelf, though. Hoping I would get something out of it. Uh, we could use something more to eat. Something that will make us gassy, but... Probably help fill us up. That's going to be the end of our food when we're done with that, though. But I think I am going to cut here. It's been a while. Uh, I think I've been long enough here. Oh, excuse me. Let's finish eating that. And... And that's going to do it for now, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this, please let me know. And come on back, and we'll probably just cut to the morning, because it's going, night's going pretty fast, and not much you can do at night, especially if the zombies are running around, so hopefully nobody notices me. Um, so I will see you in the next one. 
Now get on with your pursuit.